Oh, well, all right. So we're going to look at some lines, line segments, and rays before we get into this geometry unit. And we just want to make sure that you guys remember this from when you were younger. So this is a picture of a line. It has arrows at both ends. So that means it's a line because it goes infinite in both directions. So this is a line where this is just a plain old point. So it's a fixed location somewhere in a plane or something. This is a line segment. Now a line segment has two distinct endpoints. It has ends. That means this does not go any farther than here. You can actually give a line segment a distance. So I could say, hey, this is eight inches if I wanted to. It can have a fixed distance, whereas the line cannot. This is called a ray. Now, ray has an endpoint and goes infinite in one direction. This also cannot have a distance. Okay. This ray is part of an angle. So if I put another one here and we follow my pen with this bottom ray, that would form an angle. Okay. Now, this is perpendicular. So perpendicular. Perpendicular means it takes the height of something and the base of something and it forms a 90 degree angle. So that's perpendicular. These are parallel. Parallel lines never intersect. They just keep going. It's kind of like a road Okay, eventually a road comes to a stop and has an intersection like a perpendicular does. Okay, so these are parallel lines. They uh, are parallel. What I have here is parallel line segments. If I make them parallel lines, I have to put the arrows on each end. That's parallel lines. Okay, so there's a symbol that goes with the line. So if I were to name this, I would put AB and above it, I have to put a little tiny arrows on each side. Now a line segment like above, I just put a line like that and I put CD. I don't have arrow tips on it because it's a line segment. Array, so if we have EF and we put what the ray looks like, okay? Um, move my camera down a little bit. Point, it would be like point P or whatever I call it. Now perpendicular, if we were saying some line is perpendicular to another line, we could say um, like, I'm just making something up. I could say line AB is perpendicular to line PF. If I just made something up, that's what it would look like if you're saying one line is perpendicular to the other. Um, and what I mean by that would be if I had something like this and this was a B and this is P F and I did that I could say a B is perpendicular to P F and parallel um, I could do the same thing if I just redraw this I could say a B so I could do um, line a B is parallel to line P F if I did this A, B, P, F. Okay, so that's just some of your basics on being able to identify those. And as always, this is Miss Bobby and I heart math CrossFit. And of course, and as always.